broad-based government? I think that's your big question. Let me say this. Because of the challenges and the issues that came up in the last couple uh, of weeks, uh, going into one month, I committed to the country that I am going to form a broad-based government. And many people are asking me to explain, as on Saturday I saying, what is this broad-based government? It is broad-based government. That's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> because, you know, there has been this feeling that maybe this government is made of William Ruto's friends, right? And, and William Ruto's uh, buddies. And I said, it is time, you know, I have friends. And, and I, I've, I've seen many people ask me, okay, why did you, you know, dismiss the whole cabinet? And then you hired some back. Let me answer it this way. It was necessary to have a fresh start. Because as I told the people of Kenya, we are going to have a broad-based government and we are going to have a fresh start. So that even those I have given another opportunity to serve in cabinet, they must now know that uh, this is new. The terms are different. We may have been friends, but now the terms are different. Number two, I also uh, wanted other people to join in government because for a long time as Kenyans we have we've been divided on sides and that's why I decided this time around let me form an administration that has the broader face of Kenya and that is why you see some of the members of uh, my new cabinet coming from different formations political formations and I and, and I said I'm going to consult and I'm going to talk to people who are, who are willing to talk to me. There are those who did not want to talk to me, and that's fine. That's democracy. There are those whom we sat down and we agreed with, and we agreed on their agenda. What are we going to do? In fact, at some point, I was having a conversation, and the conversation went like, okay, the housing program. The housing program was in the manifesto of ODM and was in the manifesto of Kenya Kwanza, true? Yes. They're all there. The UHC program, it was on both sides of the divide. There are things that are common between us. And my question is, those things that we have no contest about, can we agree on those things and move the country forward on the things that are not in contention between the sides? And that is how we agreed with ODM to work on the broad-based government that captures some of the items that we all agree on. Number two, let me clarify, as the party leader of ODM did, that we did not form a coalition government so that nobody should tell us we're trying to compromise the opposition. We did not form, we have no formal coalition arrangement. What we have is running an administration on matters that we have agreed, members of ODM uh, who have agreed to come and work with us so that we can put the country first and be able to deal with the challenges that brings Kenya to where it is. Whether it is our housing plan, whether it is matters to do with UHC and all the other items that we agree on as a nation are important to the people of Kenya. I am not very keen on who takes the credit. I am keen on the transformation of Kenya. So this is uh, uh, what, I can, uh, what I can tell you about, about that arrangement.